Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you for joining us. This is the Heart of David International Ministry. I'm your pastor, Dr. Mark Dean. Hallelujah. Glory. This is our Tuesday uh, evening service. Sorry I'm late. I may have to change this time. Hallelujah. I'm trying to keep it at 6, but I may have to push it back until 6.30. So, but we do thank you for joining us. <clears throat> We ask that you like, subscribe, and share on the social media. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey, thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you all of the glory in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hey, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, we're going to talk about, we're going to, uh, we won't be on too long, but we're going to talk about your faith. Don't let anyone or anything shake your faith in Christ. That is so important for you. Let me go ahead and start praying. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come to you right now, Father God. We come to you with the most meek and humble heart as we can, Lord. We seek you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We seek you with all of our heart, mind, body, soul, and strength. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for being mindful of us <clears throat> every day, Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you came from heaven to earth, Lord, to show us the way. You died on the cross. You shed your blood. You rose on the third day to redeem all of mankind. Thank you for washing us in the blood of Jesus. We thank you for your mercy and your grace, Lord. We thank you for your, <clears throat> for your long suffering in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you <clears throat> for the power of prayer. We thank you for the power of prayer and deliverance and the healing and signs and wonders and miracles, Lord. You said if we ask anything in your name, we ask any and everything in your name according to your will and according to your word, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. <clears throat> Again, we do thank you. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and share. If you uh, have any questions or you have any prayer requests, you can go to hodim.org, hodim.org. Or you can email us at hodim1117 at gmail.com. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. And we do ask that you start sending in your testimony of how the Lord has blessed you uh, uh, um, through this ministry. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey, thank you, Lord. Glory to your mighty name. Look, we overcome the devil by the blood of the lamb in the words of our testimony. Don't ever stop testifying of the goodness of the Lord. Even if you have a setback and things don't go exactly the way that you want it to go, testify about the goodness of the Lord. Stop being negative all the time. Speak on the goodness of Christ Jesus, the love of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Now, hey, I, I, I told you the subject is don't let anyone or anything shake your faith in Christ. You should never allow anyone or anything to shake your faith in Christ. Listen, I understand it. Sometimes you heartbroken and you didn't have nothing to do with it. You had your good intentions. You have done everything to the best of your ability. You have done everything to the best of your ability according to the word of God. Hallelujah. But sometimes things don't work out that way. And your faith is shaken. 
you now you doubt God. You don't understand why God has allowed this to happen. But don't let that situation uh, uh, shake your faith in Christ. Hallelujah. We'll even talk about divorce. People got married. They were virgins. They thought they married the man of their dream. You thought he was saved or vice versa. You got married. You you know, you thought she was a virgin and, and everything was going to be good. Sometimes things like that don't happen. Somehow the devil got in there. And now you're wondering why, Lord, I kept myself. I waited until I got married. And look what happened. Don't let that shake your faith or have any doubt in uh, uh, in the word of God. Hallelujah. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And if you are a true child of God, he's going to use any and everything or anyone to break your heart. Hallelujah. You will be offended. You, you God has offended you, and you try to wonder if God real or not. Don't do that. Don't let anyone or anything shake your faith in Christ Jesus. I say it all the time. You may have to cry because you don't understand. Hallelujah. You may be uh, uh, what some people call, you know, you are out on an a island in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the ocean. But you cannot allow your faith to be shaken. You can't doubt God. <clears throat> remember God said my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways as the heaven is higher than the earth so are my thoughts higher than your thoughts that is the King James verse but right well you know what let's go there and this right with let's read it out to new King James hallelujah mm, glory to your name Jesus Hallelujah. <clears throat> Isaiah 55 and 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. <clears throat> so we got to remember that. So God's thoughts is much higher than our thoughts, and his ways is much higher than our ways. Hmm. If we remember that, even though stuff happened in our life and it's heartbreaking, we always say whatever the devil meant, God is going to turn it around for our good. When we believe that God is going to turn it around for our good, that is you keeping your faith <clears throat> in Christ Jesus. Hey, my God. That is you keeping your faith in Christ Jesus. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Our subject, hallelujah, is coming out of Hebrews 11 and 6. It says this, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So understand something. Hallelujah. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For everyone who comes to God must believe that he is. You must believe that Jesus is. You must believe that God is. God is God. God is the God of God. Hallelujah. He's the Lord of lords. He's the King of kings. He is the great I am. Hallelujah. He said in the Old Testament, I believe it was Moses. When Moses said, who should I say sent me? He said, say that I am that I am. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You cannot allow your faith to be shaken. See, a lot of times, kids' faith are shaken in Christ. Why? Because their parents got divorced or they don't get along 
or whatever it is. Now, because if the devil can get a child while they're young, he don't have to worry about them when they get old. A child gets wounded, hallelujah, when mom and daddy ain't together, gets wounded in the divorce. Don't let, listen, I know people say this don't have nothing to do with you. This is between me and your mama. This don't have nothing to do with you. This is between me and your dad. The dad said, I love you, son. Nothing going to change. Mama say, I love you, son. Ain't nothing going to change. But stuff do change. Their whole world has exploded. Hallelujah. And now you, as a parent, hallelujah, you got to tell them that God is still good. He's still working everything out. Hallelujah. For your good, for his glory. Don't let nothing, don't let no one <clears throat> or anything shake your faith in Christ. Hallelujah. You say you can't believe you getting divorced. That was the one thing you said you wasn't going to do. I'm not going to get divorced. I'm going to make sure I marry the right person. And lo and behold, you are divorced. Whether it's your fault or not, Divorce still hurts. Even if you have ground and a legitimate reason to leave or put her away for the man, for the woman to leave or the man to put her away, it still hurts. Why? That is because that is a covenant that you made before God and man. Glory to God. That is a covenant. And it's a spiritual tearing away. Look, even though you're supposed to leave, you should leave, ain't nothing going right. It's still a spiritual tearing in your heart. You may be connected because you married, and the, the Bible says that woman is your rib, but now that rib is being taken out, whether you have a legitimate reason to put her away or not. Hallelujah. If the man put the woman away, it's still a tearing. Hallelujah. It is a spiritual tearing that takes place. Glory to God. And you have to heal from it. But in, but in all of that, glory to God, you can't let anyone or anything shake your faith. You can't let any situation shake your faith. You, you just got to say, this too shall pass. Whatever the devil meant for evil, God is going to turn it around for my good. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Don't put the blame on nobody. At some point, look, whether it's your fault or not, Lord, what can I do better to make myself better? Hallelujah. That's what you got to do. I know there are certain circumstances and all that, but don't let anyone or anything shake your faith in Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may have been in business with somebody and you trusted somebody and they lied, they stole, they stole the company from you. They, they, you know, you might be going to prison because, you know, some business partner did something. You could have a, a best friend or your, uh, uh, sisters, you, your sister could have betrayed you. Your brother could have betrayed you. Hallelujah. But you don't let anyone or anything shake your faith in Christ. And yeah, people are going to tell you, you crazy. It ain't that much faith in the world. You need to go ahead and get revenge. No, I'm covered in the blood. And even though my flesh may want to, I, I got to stay in the spirit. You react in the flesh if you want to, you'll be in prison for life or on death row. There's some people on death row that never committed a crime in their life. Something happened and they snap. Those two minutes or 45 seconds changed their whole life. Glory to God. I'm going to tell you again, don't let anything or anyone shake your faith in Christ. You, your lights may get turned off. Your car may get repoed. 
you may be put out, but don't shake, don't let it, don't let that shake your faith in Christ. Lord, what do I need to do to get better? What do I need to do so the next time this won't happen? I'm telling everybody that I'm saved. I'm telling everybody that I trust God. What am I doing? Hallelujah. That that what am I not doing that I should be doing? Hallelujah. And what am I doing that I should be doing? Don't let anyone or anything shake your faith in Christ. Don't let your ex-wife do it. Don't let your ex-husband do it. Don't let your children do it. There have been some children who grew up in church and mom and daddy lived the life in front of them. If it was a single parent home, mama lived the life in front of them. A uh, single parent home with a daddy, daddy lived the life in front of them. So if they go off, all you can say is, Lord, I've done my best. I got to turn them over to you. They may hurt you to your heart. There ain't no pain. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Then pain when it comes from the children. Glory to your mighty name. There ain't no pain. Listen to me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Don't let anyone or anything shake your faith in Christ. People may say something to you that's horrible, horrible, and it could be wrong, and it could be right. But you don't let anyone or anything shake your faith in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, what can I do to get better? What do I need to do? What what I didn't, what didn't I do in order for this to happen? So it won't, so I can do it and it won't happen again. Lord Jesus Christ. See, without faith, it's impossible to please God. Let's read that again. Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe, he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he is rewarder of those that diligently seek him. So as you have faith, you diligently seek the Lord. How do I seek him? You seek him in prayer. You seek him in fasting. You seek him in reading his word. You seek him in meditating on him. Hallelujah. You seek God when you witness the folks. You seek God when you give them the testimony. Hey, glory to God. You seek God when you do praise and worship. Hey, you seek God when you study his word. Seek God in everything that you do. Seek God when you at your desk and you typing and you just saying to yourself, Lord, you're so good. Lord, I love you. Lord, I magnify you. I thank you for everything that you're doing. I thank you for giving me favor with God and man. I thank you for opening up the floodgates of heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Woo, glory to God. Don't let anyone or anything shake your faith in Christ. There's a lot of things going on. And look, like a lot of things from the political agenda, from the Disney agenda, from the world agenda is, is, is wrong. Don't listen. Don't be so church hurt that your faith is shaken. I said, don't be so church hurt because you can be church hurt and people walk away from church. They don't believe in God. They don't believe in the Bible or they become a hermit talking about, I don't believe in organized religion. I don't believe in going to church. I'm just me. It's just me by myself. You by yourself going to go to hell. God never told you to do that. Now he did tell you to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. But you will never be able to take the devil on by yourself. And, it, and you never win. Glory to God. It, it won't happen. That's why you want an army of believers around you that love God, that seek God, that do their best to live for Christ. Hallelujah. 
Don't let anything or anyone shake your faith in Christ. For without faith, it is impossible to please him. He is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Glory, glory, glory. So let me pray. Father God, we thank you for great faith. We thank you for increasing our faith, Lord. We thank you for the manifestation of our prayers, Lord, that we see it, that we touch it, that is tangible in the name of Jesus, that testimonies continue to roll in. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Father God, I pray for all those who are listening and will listen, Father. We pray that you increase all of our faith, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, we ask that you forgive us for all of our sins and everything that we did that was wrong, everything that offended you, Lord Jesus Christ, we are sorry. Lord, we ask that you forgive us. We thank you for washing us in the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your grace and mercy in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. We will be back with you on on Saturday, glory to God. I do want to remind you, we will not have service October 26th, okay? October 26th, I have to be somewhere. I just wanted to remind you uh, that we will not have service Saturday, glory to God. October 26th, but we will see you this Saturday on uh, September 21st for our morning service. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. God bless you. Hallelujah.